let's have a talk you want to lose body fat now i've been able to transform my body completely 180 degrees and go from around 25 percent body fat to 12. and it's actually not as difficult as you think and it's not as hard as you think so let's just talk about how i was able to do that and how you can do that yourself so first of all this video is going to be divided into four steps four primary steps now in each of the steps we have so much to talk about but i'll keep this video as condensed as concise and as clear as possible i want you to pay close attention to this video because this might be just a video that you need to start changing your life you're in the right place at the right time let's dive into step number one step number one define your goal you probably know already that when you have a goal you just work in much greater efficiency when you have a goal you know what to do when you have a goal more results will come okay as a consequence of having a goal you will work in greater efficiency and you will be much more capable of making the right choices to reach that goal when you focus you can really achieve great things when you're mindful when you know what your goal is you also will have a plan inevitably so the first step is to define your goal what do you want to achieve what do you want to achieve not me not not your family not your friends not anybody else what do you want to achieve most likely your goal is going to be to lose body fat and the difference between losing fat and losing weight is vast there is a vast difference between the two you want to lose fat not weight this is why you want to remove the scale entirely we don't care about the scale we care about how you look we care about how your body looks because our bodies are the best sign for how healthy we are and how much body fat we have and let's just face it you don't really care about your weight you don't really care about this number what you care about is looking good is having the body that you want in and then there are so many reasons that follow that for instance when once you have a nice body once you have a good looking body you also be healthier your mental health will improve your well-being will improve it all correlates with, with each other so the actionable step of this step is to define your goal what do you want to achieve i think that you should define your goal as losing body fat that's it just my goal is to lose body fat now once you focus on just one goal one goal only this journey becomes so much easier it's actually amazing to see you know i heard so many stories about people who try to build muscle and lose body fat simultaneously eventually what happened is that they were not able to do any of those they tried to focus on two and got zero it's better to focus on just one goal and finish it fulfill it and only then move to the second one and you don't understand the level of change both in your personality i mean change as a really positive change you you'll mature as a result of this journey once you lose the weight you'll become an entirely different person so you want to understand that okay remember you want to focus on just one goal not two goals you don't want to try to lose muscle and build body fat simultaneously this will just not work you want to just focus on building body fat and that's it and I guarantee what I see with my clients is that every single time somebody really focuses on just one goal, narrows down um, one's point of view to just this one goal, does not focus on anything else, one will be much more likely to lose body fat. I've seen that happen time and time again. And I had the same instance happen to me. I, I never really had a goal. Never. Once I defined my goal, I said, you know, I want to lose 20 pounds of body fat in two months. This was one of my goals back then when I was really overweight and losing 20 pounds in two months seemed like a pretty good deal to me. So I just went all in on it. Now, you want your goal to have a time frame. You, you want it to have a deadline. You also want it to be countable. You don't want your goal to be, I want to lose body fat and that's it. You want your goal to be, I want to lose 20 pounds in four months. This is a good goal. This is a goal you can achieve. And after these four months, you will, you will then go to the next goal eventually your biggest goal is to you know have a nice body have a fighter's body have a, a have a body you'll be proud of be healthier this is your ultimate goal but then you you will have these many small goals that will lead to this big goal this is how you set goals effectively efficiently that will last one big goal many small goals that just follow up to 
the big goal, the small goals need to have a time limit, a deadline, and a countable number. Step number two, controlling one's diet or just controlling your diet. So diet is the most important factor when it comes to weight loss. If you have a good diet, if your diet is good, you will lose weight. If you are at a caloric deficit, you will lose weight. Now, I want you to understand the importance of focus to this journey. I will constantly remind focus as a repeating factor in all these steps. If you focus on your diet, if you just focus on, you know, having, being at a caloric deficit and that's it, you will lose weight. If you focus on just one goal, you will lose weight. If you focus on just workout plan, stick with it, you will lose weight. If you focus on this video, you will lose weight. This is how it works. Focus is a key factor here. Understand that focus is going to be the difference between those that lose weight and those that do not. Now, be truly honest with yourself. If you've watched this, this video thus far, you probably are a good candidate to weight loss. Your focus is probably pretty good. But how many times did you read the comments on this video? How many times did you just like scroll down? How many times did you, you know, did like open up your phone it's likely that you don't really focus, that your focus is not really good. Let's just get back to diet, okay? So the diet, your diet is 80%, 80% of all your weight loss journey. Whether you lose weight or not is entirely up to your diet. Let's talk about being in a caloric deficit. First, a caloric deficit state is when you eat or consume less calories or less food than you burn per day. This is how you lose body fat. Once you have that state, once you're at the caloric deficit state, your body is going to get into this emergency mode, right? Like alarms everywhere, alarms blipping everywhere. Your body is going to be in emergency mode, in emergency state. Why? Because your body just wants to survive. So let's think about it from a logical perspective. Your body wants to reserve your fat cells. It wants to do that because your fat cells act as a secondary energy source. Simple step. Your body wants to reserve these energy sources in case something truly happens, in case it, an, an, an emergency really happens and you are not able to eat for a long period of time, then your body will have um, things to burn for. If you think about it, like having fat cells, is, having fat storage is pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good for your like survival if you think about like it in, in a primal uh, mindset. It's pretty good <laughs> to have fat. If you don't have fat and you are suddenly thrown in the desert for three days, you probably won't survive. Now that we know why your body wants to reserve your fat, let's understand how you can burn it. Now, we're, we're probably, you probably won't be left uh, in the desert for seven days, probably. So you want to burn your fat to be healthier and to look better. How do you do that? Being at a caloric deficit state is the key to weight loss, to fat loss, I mean. Here is why. When you're at the caloric deficit state, your body burns your fat and your lean muscle as the secondary energy source. This happens because of the deficit in your calories that your body experiences, okay, simple. Your body is missing, let's say 500 calories every single day, it will get these calories from your fat and from your muscles. Indeed, from, from your muscles as well, not just your fat. This is why you also will lose lean muscle in the process of weight loss. So what can you do about it? First of all, your diet needs to be focused on proteins, again, focus focused on proteins, not carbs, not fat. If you focus on protein and eat a sufficient number of protein while being at a caloric deficit, you will minimize the amount of lean muscle you lose while optimizing the amount of fat storages that you will burn. Your focus here is to be at the caloric deficit, so I want you to avoid overeating entirely. If you're overeating as a, I don't know, like for any reason out there, like if, you, if you're doing it um, in like an addiction kind of way or if you're doing that just because you're having um, some issues facing with your troubles mentally, whatever. I want you to understand the reason and I want you to, to tackle it. You want to avoid overeating. Overeating is the sole thing that will stop you from being at a caloric deficit. Always eat until you're 80% full. I stole this sentence from the people of Okinawa, which is an island in Japan. Now, the people of Okinawa are known to live over 100, 100 years old. They're known for having one of the biggest concentrations of people over 100 years old. And so, you, we can learn a thing or two about how they live, you know, just how they live as a, as a whole. And a part of the success they find with their longevity is due to their diets. 
there are so many other reasons, of course, but their diets and the, their eating habits are a critical factor when it comes to their success. You want to eat until you're 80% full. This is one of their most famous sentences that they say before every single meal. Eat until 80% full, not more than that. Don't fill yourself up with like until you're 100% filled with food. You don't want to do that. This is called overeating. This will cause, this will prevent you from losing weight. Always eat until 80% full. Make sure to remember that. The actionable step of step number two of your diet is to calculate how many calories you need to eat per day. The way you do that is you go to a calorie calculator online. I love this one. You input your age, weight, height, and weekly activity level. Then you press calculate and then you get a number. This number is the number of calories you need to eat to maintain your weight. You want to subtract 300 to 500 calories, depending on how much on, on the body fat percentage you're currently in. You want to subtract 300 to 500 calories and you'll get the number. This number is the number of calories you should eat per day. You want to eat per day to lose body fat consistently and effectively without jeopardizing too much of your lean muscle mass. You want to start worshiping this number. I always say this, you want to hang it on your wall. You want to write it on your forehead. Do whatever it takes to remember this number and to eat this number of calories every single day. And remember, this number of calories is already after all the workouts because you wrote your weekly activity level. So it's not like you can work out and then eat more. It's already in there. So you want to eat that number every single day. No excuses, no anything. Eat this number. If you just focus on this number, if you're successful in eating this number of calories every single day, you will lose weight. Results are simply inevitable. Step number three, working out. There are two types of workout I want you to focus on. There are two type of, types of exercises I focused on in my journey from 25% body fat to 12% body fat that have helped me get this journey much, much faster. The two types of exercises you want to focus on, one, weightlifting, Two, cardio. Cardio and weightlifting are the core of workout when it comes to weight loss and eventually when it comes to even building muscle. Especially when trying to do a lean bulk, which is, you know, trying to gain muscle without gaining fat. Cardio and weightlifting are critical. So first, let's, let's, let's explain what cardio is and what weightlifting is. Cardio is an exercise, is like a big time, is a big umbrella term for workouts that get your heart rate up and it help you burn a lot of calories. Some of my personal favorites are uh, martial arts in general, so I love to do boxing and Muay Thai. I'm a Muay Thai fighter, by the way, so I just love Muay Thai. I love running, swimming, aerobics, anything like that will do the job. Anything that will get your heart rate up and will help you burn a lot of calories, just get you moving, get you active. And then we have weightlifting. Weightlifting is necessary when, tr when losing body fat because we have already understood that your body is like, will get into em uh, this emergency state when you are at the caloric deficit. When your body is at the caloric deficit, it will want to burn your muscle as well because it wants to reserve your fat. This is, in, is its entire goal. It, it wants to reserve its fat because it wants to prepare for an emergency. But let's think about it from your body's perspective. Your body is going to be like, okay, I'm using my muscles on a weekly basis. I don't want to burn them because I'm using them. And I don't want to not be able to do the job I currently am able to do. So I will just reserve more muscle and burn more fat. This is the logic that has helped me burn a lot of body fat, get into this 12% range while maintaining so much of my lean muscle and my strength. Of course, I, my strength decreased and my, some of my muscles have been burned, but that's entirely fine because I've minimized this number. And then I was able to regain my strength and my lean muscle and look much, much better because I was able to reserve, because I was, I was able to focus on weightlifting. Weightlifting has been a core exercise in my journey. So how does a training plan look like? I'll just give you mine. You can do whatever you want with it. If you have six days to work out in your week, then you'll be good. You know, it's too much, pretty much. I worked out six times per week, a little bit more, sometimes seven to eight. But yeah, let's just focus on six. Here's my, here how my week looked like. Monday, I did cardio. Tuesday, I weightlifted. Wednesday, cardio. Thursday, weightlifting. Friday, cardio. Saturday, weightlifting. 
Sunday rest, just rest, nothing else. Notice that I have deliberately placed the cardio and the weightlifting on non-consecutive days because when you do that, your body is going to have enough time to rest and recover, which if you don't know, your body grows when recovering. Your body does not grow in the workout itself, it grows when recovering. So having this place, having this um, spot for, re for recovery and rest, doing this like kind of like switch, switch workouts every single day, you never work out the same um, exercise on consecutive days, will help you recover faster, ensure you don't overtrain, and just overall ensure proper recovery and rest. I want you to rest on Sunday because having one rest day both is both good for your physical and mental self. So just make sure to do that. Step number four, repeat. Yes, repeat. You now know everything you need to know to start your weight loss journey. Here in Fit with Levy, we have two free services that I very much recommend you to take action on because they will help you in your journey. The first is my book, Build a Fighter's Body in 28 Days. You, 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 you can get a free copy of it by clicking the first link. Very much recommended. It will, it will help you focus, it will help you get results. Second free service is the consulting call with me personally. Second link in the description, 10 minutes free consulting call with me. I will help you with whatever you need. I will not sell you anything. Second link, results will be inevitable if you focus on diet and working out. Simple as that. How easy is that? Like today's society makes this weight loss journey, you know, seem so hard and sound so hard, but it cannot be further away from the truth. It's going to be a very easy journey for you and a very fulfilling and satisfying one if you are able to focus on the right things. If you are able to focus on what we've talked about in this video. So I want you to make sure you get this right. By getting this right, by getting your workout plan and by getting your diet right, results will be inevitable. The only step that will be left is to repeat, 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 repeat. Let's talk about the difference between motivation and discipline. Motivation is what starts off what my favorite cycle of all time. You have a cycle of motivation, discipline and results. Motivation, once you start with this, you know, after this video, you're going to be fired up to start your weight loss journey. You have motivation. Then it will lead to discipline because motivation always leads to discipline in the right hands. If you know what you're doing, if you know a thing or two about life, you will use your motivation to build good habits. Let's say me with this YouTube channel. I have a pretty diff like it's pretty difficult to maintain this YouTube channel and my business. So the first thing I do when I wake up, you know, I drink coffee, I go um, to, um, to the sun, I, you know, to, to, to wake up, I take a cold shower, and then I sit down and I record a video, like, like I'm doing right now. I have this motivation to get a YouTube channel that's successful, and I built a good habit around it, which is to record videos. So you got motivation leads to discipline, and then leads to results. Discipline always leads to results, just the way it works. These results you will be able to utilize to get even more motivation, which then you will be able to use to get even more results. Sorry, to get even more discipline, I mean. <laughs> and then you'll, you suddenly, you, you'll fired up this cycle and this cycle will continue running and running and running and running and you will have such a good time using this cycle for your own benefit. I very much recommend you to take action on this cycle because this cycle can be the difference between success and failure. So make sure to take action on it, understand how it works, take action on it. Motivation and discipline are very, very different. Remember, take action on the two free services we offer here in Fit with Levy. First is the book. It's not a free book. I'm giving you a free copy of the book. So make sure to take action on it right now before I turn it into a into a paid service because I can do that so make sure to take action on it start learning from it very good book second service is the free consulting call take action on it remember the four steps first you have a goal you need to define second you want to optimize your diet third you want to optimize your training routine the fourth one you just want to repeat 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 results will come this has been this video this is how I turn, this is how I trans transform my body drastically from 25% body fat to 12% body fat. I very much encourage you to take action on the two free services we offer and I'll see you in the next one.